Hey all, Pei here, back from our TFT trading video. Made a few huge trades this episode with a bunch of god tier hats. Hope you guys enjoy it. It's gonna be a super long video because I didn't get too many trades, so I just like had it over three weeks, I guess. So into the video. So I was just looking for some quick sells and I got uh it's a puzzle to me, Smoky Sombrero. He was selling it for 24, which is less than a kid by bots. It's a really nice pickup because it's a decent Halloween effect old Halloween effect as well on a decent engineer hat. The sellers are at 32 and buyers at 23.23 so there's no way I can lose profit. I can just re quick sell for 25 if I just want to make a small amount of profit but I'll probably end up selling this for like 28 or something. So here it is. It's not the best effect in my opinion but it is still a Halloween effect so some people are still going to be interested in it. But yeah it's not a bad hat either. I was just looking through backpack.tf classifieds and I managed to find a star storm insomnia slopers um soldier slope scopers I think that's what they're called for 35 keys pure it's a pretty good buy that's been not on the market for like nine months and I managed to get repriced at 35 pretty easily because it's the only sale and it's a really underrated effect and it's on a decent hat as well not the best when like compared to bots but I think I can easily get past 35 if I'm lucky it's not a bad hat, and Star Storm Insomnia is a pretty nice underrated effect. Seeing that there's probably going to be no, no others on the market for quite a while, I can easily get 40 out of it. Maybe 45 or 50 if I wait long enough. I did get it repriced at 35 though, so should be easier to sell now that it's got a more accurate price, I guess. I managed to sell my Sergeant's Jaw hat with Flaming Lantern for 52 keys pure. There's four keys profit. I originally had this guy add me trying to get me to do 50 on it. So I had it listed at 55, but ended up um, making him negotiate it up to 52. So it is not bad at all. I probably could have got more, but I had another person at 60 and he kept moving his sell order down and down. So kind of glad I still got profit out of it, I guess. So I just did a really, really risky trade. I traded almost all my pure, 375 pure keys for a Hellfire 1 of 2. Oh man, it's a really nice scout hat and it's got a good god tier Halloween effect. I think it's a pretty good buy. He said he was going away to the military, so he just didn't have any need for it. So yeah, I've already hit been off at like 360 for pure, so I think I made the right decision in buying this. The biodas aren't the best and there is a price suggestion that goes up to my buying price of 375 but I think the previous sales before mine were just really low ball um, sales because they did come off the collector that originally had it so yeah I think I could easily get like 400 full pure or if I waited a bunch maybe 450-500 here it is that is sick though I did not regret this trade at all, even though I probably paid too much, but that goes really nice on a milkman. It's a shame it's not a flip trilby, but the only guy with the nice Halloween flip trilby that I want was like 600 pure for it, so yeah, I guess I'm just staying with milkmans for now. So I bought this as an investment because I thought it was going to go up. I paid 21 for a Star Storm Insomnia perennial cartridge. Don't know if that's how you say it, but it is not the best buy because I'm hoping the biodas will go up and the sellers will go away. But it's like right next to sellers and it's almost okay by bots. So if I sell it in the next like week, I'm going to make a huge loss, but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to keep this for a few weeks because I guarantee you that Star Storm effects are just going to keep going up. I don't see why the cranial is such a low tier fire hat because it does actually look pretty nice. Although I do think it should be an all class because it kind of just looks like an all class. But yeah, Star Storm, I like the effect and it's got pretty matching paint. So I'm just going to keep this for like a few weeks or even months if I need to until the price goes up. Just bought a steaming Master Shell belt from my Bioda of 57 keys. Pretty decent buy. It's only a key and a half but bots, so not too much to worry about. I'm probably just going to sell this real quick because there's not much margin. Or maybe use it as an upgrade. 
I just need some pure real quick and I quick sold my Scorching Flames Brigade helmet for 110k pure. It's not a bad offer because I didn't get any offers on it like at all, even level offers. But 110 is not bad, I listed at like 120 and now I was expecting to get around that. So yeah, pretty happy I got full pure I guess. I just sold my Sulphurous Samurai for 85 full pure. Not a bad sale, I kind of bought this for pretty cheap so I'm still making profit. So I basically bought the Time Mill Hermes that I traded for this, so 95 and he added 18 keys on top for the Samurai. And then this is 85, so that is 8 keys profit from the two trades. So I think I should have just kept the Hermes because it would have been much easier to sell. And I also like Time Warp, this guy has a lot. Uh, Still made profit, doesn't that doesn't really matter. I just bought a Morning Glory Lark and Robin for 30 keys pure. I had a buy it at 30 and someone decided to sell to it apparently. This is not a very good deal when you look at the buyers, but because it is a clean Morning Glory, if you look at Death at Dusk, it has been recently priced at 58, not 68, and it's got buyers at 52. So I think that if this guy leaves, so if I sell if the buyers just start going up, they'll go up to about that and I'll make a ton of profit. Even if I quick sell, I can probably get 35 pretty easily for it. So it's a really good buy. There's no way I can make any losses, hopefully. Also looks pretty nice, even though it's not the best of hats. Here it is. I don't know why the Lark of Robin is considered low tier, considering it's kind of a themed hat for Sniper, but eh, I guess it's all right. Morning Glory has got to be one of my favourite effects, as long as it doesn't break sometimes. So yeah, 30 is definitely a good deal for this though. Got a random trade offer for my factory new um, Killstreak Hano Medi Gun for 10 keys pure. That is what I had it listed at, I wasn't really trying to sell it, but I guess it is a pop pretty popular skin, so 10 keys is pretty achievable for this. I kind of liked having it because it was a nice skin, but I guess I wasn't really playing medic much, so it didn't really matter. After a lot, and I mean a ton of negotiating, I finally managed to buy this guy's Scorching Flames Brotherhood of Arms. Uh, he's the unboxer and he just advertised it sometimes on Firepowered. So I managed to finally get a deal with him after a lot, a lot of trade offers, so here's what I paid. I, so I paid a Scorching Flame to win rain catcher. Scorching Flames German Godzilla, a Sequoia Cranial Carachidon, a Fragmenting Reality Bumble Beanie, a Puzzle to Me Smoky Sombrero, a Disco Beatdown Warpig in 24 keys pure. So I paid around 50 for the Rim Terrain Catcher, but I had a pending offer of 55 keys on it, so I'll just say 55. This I bought it for 70, I bought the Cranial for 24. I bought the Bumble Beanie for 24 as well. I bought the Smoky Sombrero for, yet again, 24. And I bought the War Pig for 53. And then I'm adding 24 keys to it. So that's 274 keys and when I paid for it. The Biters are at 260, but if you look at Burning Biters, this is the main reason I did the trade. They at 277. So I believe that once a seller at 320 goes, even though he wants full pure only and it's not negotiable. Uh, once he goes, I'll be able to sell it for about 400 probably. And it's also got to be one of the best hats and one of the best first gen effects as well. So here it is. Although it used to probably be worth way more than it is now, it is still a really, really nice all class hat. It's probably going to be one of my favorite all classes, but it is also really expensive for scorching, I guess. Hopefully I did not get screwed over this trade because I did give him a bunch of easy pure hats like you can probably get maybe 300 pure easily out of the hats I gave him so hopefully I can get more than 300 on this. So team captain who's been watching this series for a while wanted me to open a Manco supply crate so I'll just do it now. So here is the crate let's just open it now open with the key. Hopefully get something good. 
Nope. <laughs> a third degree strategy fire worth probably like 4F. Oh well, it's better than getting just a weapon, I guess. I made another pretty big trade. I bought this clean Dark Blades Lark and Robin for my Morning Glory counterfeit Billy Cop, my Cloudy Moon Stainless Pot, and my Steaming Monster Jelly Belt, as well as 15 Keys Pure. So for the counterfeit Billy Cop, I paid 35 for that. I paid 125 for the Stainless Pot, but that was below Biders, so it was a bargain. I bought this for 57. And then 15 keys pure, so I'm paying 232 pure for this. There are biters at 211, and it is a really, really nice effect. This is probably going to be one of my favorite effects besides maybe time warp, and it's also one of the highest tier effects besides like Bonzo, Nice Storm, Arcana, and Spellbound. So it's not on the best hat, but it still looks really nice in the game. So another Luck and Robin, I picked the other one up, it was Morning Glory. But this one looks a lot better because it is Dark Blaze. Dark Blaze is going to be the, my favourite portal and probably everyone else's favourite portal. It's worth a lot more than both Demon Flame and Hellfire because it looks purple. It just looks a lot better. So yeah, I'll probably be able to get like at least 300 pure out of it or something like that. Just got rid of my Static Mist High Five Taunt for 16 keys pure. I do not like selling unusual taunts, especially ones with low tier effects and lots on the market like this one. So I just listed it like one key above bot and sold it. So pretty simple trade. So the Frozen Ice Fall Air Dog that I just picked up for 45 a while ago, I managed to pick it for 55 for pure. This guy just sent me a random offer while I was offline and just accepted it now. It is a really good offer considering that there was another set of 60 and I didn't think I'd actually be able to sell this for much profit at all. So I guess this book is for as nice for, but still that's a really nice offer. I just picked up something absolutely insane. So I'm trading my Stormy 13th Hour Vintage Tyrolean, my Tesla Coil Kills exclusive, my Purple Anti Star Wars Crusader, and 5 Keys Pure for 101 Dark Blaze Milkman. Considering I picked up the uh, what was the Hellfire one before for 375? And this one is a much better effect and it is one of one. I'm really happy to get rid of all these hats and have one of these god tier effects. So the Starbuck Crusader, I don't remember what I paid. I think I got it in the Sunbeam Chachello for the Morning Glory masks, but let's just say 80 on that. Paid 180 on this. Paid 120 on the kills exclusive and a 5 piece pure. That is 385 for a god tier scout hat that's one of one. I'm really happy to pick this up and this is my second god tier milkman in this episode. So if I, if I get the demon flame one I will get the full portal set but I doubt that no one's ever going to trade that so just happy to have god tier scout hats I guess. Dark blaze is such a nice effect. And picking this up for 385 is a steal. I believe that if I wait for a bit, I'll get like 500 for it. Because it is a really nice hat. And it's got the probably most god tier effect that's ever going to be for sale on the Milkman ever. Because I doubt the Spellbound ones or the Bonzo ones are ever going to be for sale. So yeah, maybe someone will buy this as a set though, hopefully. I just bought a Scorching Flame Scout Shaco for 44 keys pure. It is only about a key and a half of our bots and mainly bought it because I hope this 47 seller leaves soon because it is a nice scout hat with Scorching. Here is what it looks like. It's not the best hat for scout but because it is for scout it should be worth more than 45 I guess. I should be able to get like 50 if the other cell leaves, or if I quick sell it, I'll just get 45 or 46 for this or something. I think it was a pretty good buy. I just resold the Morning Glory Lark and Robin that I bought a while ago for 39 keys pure. I bought this for 30 keys pure, so that is 9 keys pure profit. I kind of expected this kind of profit because Death of Dust did have buyers like 56. I could have kept this a bit longer, but I didn't really have any pure and yeah, he just offered me like 38 out of the bat and the question up to 39. So that's fine, yeah. 
Nike's profit's always good. So I ended up breaking even on this, but I really quick sold my Blitzy Storm Flip Trilby for 22 keys pure. When I bought this for 22, there was no other sells and the buyers were like 21.5. The buyers are still at 21.5, but there's now multiple sells like 22.5. So there's no point of even trying to get any more than 22. So I just re-quick sold it. Yeah, I kind of wasted like a month with this. Oh well. So I wasn't going to sell this again, but I sold my Tesla Curl Flip Trilby for a Cloud9 Rotation Sensation and 8 Keys Pure. I kind of just prefer the Time Warp one over this, so I just got, got rid of it. So he basically just used the Rotation Sensation as like passing your buy orders. And it's like 51.22. So that's 51.22 plus 8, that is 59.22. I bought the flip Chilby for 57 so even if I sell it to bots that's like 2 and a bit keys profit but realistically I can probably get like 54 out of this and then that'll be like 5 keys profit. It's not too bad, it's pretty easy to have to sell, I could probably just use an upgrade offer or something. Doesn't look too bad. The rotation sensation has got to be one of my favourite hats, especially with it being all class and cloud nines not a bad effect. Hopefully this shouldn't be too hard to sell, although I can just quick sell it if things don't go well with it. So this is kind of a random trade, but this guy just offered me uh, Orbiting Planets Hustlers Hallmark for like 11 keys. I'm going to negotiate down to 10 keys 40 ref. That is only like 20 ref above bots, and it's a really nice demo hat. So there's not much reason not to take it, especially because other effects that are similar in tier like Orbiting Fire. Recently priced at 19 has buys at 18. So yeah, I could easily just get 15 out of this or if I quick sell it 12 or 13 or something. Here it is. I've never actually owned an orbiting planets effect. It's not too nice, but the hat definitely makes up for it because it's got to be one of Demo's best hats. So I managed to get a pretty good offer on my Scorching Flames Brotherhood of Arms before long. I got 122 keys pure, a clean circling peace sign pyromancer's mask, and a green energy kiss king. Originally he had me trying to do 108 which is decent already but I negotiated up to 122 which is pretty nice. With the pyromancer's mask, it's at 140, the other cells duped to 140, these two are clean. So it's 140 and then the green energy kiss king. Yep, so it's got cells 60, so let's just call it 60. And then 122, so that's 322. If you price them at buy orders, it's um, 53.5, and then 112, and then 122. That's 287.5 if you sell to buy orders. I bought the Brotherhood of Arms for 275 in what I paid, basically. So I'm instantly making over 12.5 keys profit, even if I sell them to bots. So I think I made a pretty good deal. And the Pyromancer's Mask is definitely a good pickup because the price is always going up with Misks. And yeah, I kind of wish that I held on to this for a bit because I did really like it. And Burning was a lot higher than this, but oh well, I also made quite a bit of profit on it. So here is the Pyromancer's Mask. I mean, it's not too bad. Circling Peace Line is not the best effect, but it's not the worst as well. I most pretty off my Beam's Cello. But here's the Kiss King as well. I mean, Green Energy is a good combo effect, it's a good all class effect. But it's on the Kiss King, and Kiss Kings are just disgusting. So, this is definitely going in the Quick Sell bin. I might just Quick Sell this for like 2 3 keys above bots or something. You might remember this one from a while ago, but I bought another Time Warp Milkman for 130 pure. So, I owned this before, this is the same Milkman I owned before. It's one of two. And it's like 15 keys above bots, but for Time Warp Sky Hat, it's pretty nice. I only really bought it because I do like Time Warp a lot, and I already own two God Team Milkman, so why not make it a third? So, yeah, I'll show you what it looks like in game. So, here it is Time Warp is a sick effect. This is my second Time Warp Sky All Class, and my third Milkman that's God Tier. So, you got the Dark Blaze, the Hellfire. And now you got the time warp. I'm definitely not going to be able to get the demon flame because they're locked away in like private backpacks and I'll probably ask for like 800 keys or something. But 
<laughs> I guess I'm just lucky to get all these milkmans at the same time. I'll get rid of them soon though, probably, because they're not my favorite hat. So this guy was cashing out and decided to quick sell his whole backpack. I don't know why it's so small. I think he just withdrawed everything from scrap or something. But 42 keys for all this. So the only thing that's really of value is this um, snack snack attack. Yep. And this Scorching Flame Splits and Bowl. So the Scorching Flame Splits and Bowl. The buyer just like, basically paid 39 for this. And it's about 3 keys of stuff. So it's 42 keys. Uh, there's Biodis on burning at 45.5 on this, so I kind of bought it on the fact that it'll probably go up soon. But I'm just hoping on this, I guess. I thought it was for Pyro the first time I bought it, but Engineer, I mean, it's a decent hat. But I can see why it's not for us the highest, to be honest. It is Commander Grade though, so that might give it some sellability. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of trading and if you did feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.